All right, so here's an example. Um, we have a parametric curve given by these equations here. Uh, we're going to first try to just find the equations to the tangent line. Uh, we're also going to look at a normal line, um, right? We know that um, this is dy dx gives the slope of the tangent line. If you want the corresponding normal line, right? So the normal line is the line through that point which is perpendicular to the tangent line. And we know that if you have two lines that are perpendicular, their slopes are negative reciprocals, right? So once we know the slope for the tangent line, minus 1 over that slope gives me the slope for the normal line, so we can, we can do both of those. Then we'll see if we can find any places where we have horizontal or vertical tangents, okay? So, to start out, we need dy dx, right? So, dy dx is equal to y prime of t divided by x prime of t. So we get 2t plus 6 divided by 10t minus 6. Okay, um, Everything's even here. If you want to divide everything by 2, we can write that as t plus 3 divided by 5t minus 3. Okay. Right? So when t is equal to 3, we get that dy dx is equal to, what's it going to be? 3 plus 3 is 6. Uh, 5 times 3 is 15. 15 minus 3 gives me 12. 6 over 12. So I get 1 half, right? So slope of 1 half. And that means my tangent line is, well, it's going to be y equal to, ah, well, we also need a point, right? If t is equal to 3, what is x equal to? x is equal to, come up to here, right? Um, so if I do 5 times 3 squared, minus 6 times 3 plus 4, that is 45, minus 18 plus 4, so 49 minus 18 gets me to 31, and 3 squared plus 6 times 3 minus 1, so that's 9 plus 18 minus 1, so that gets me to 26, right? I need those values, right? I need, I need x, 31, y is 26, right? Because remember, remember what the equation of the tangent line looks like, right? We use point slope. We use y is equal to y naught plus m times x minus x naught, where x naught, y naught is, well, this point, right? Maybe we call that f of t naught, g of t naught, right? Particular point. Okay, so y is equal to 26 plus slope 1 half times x minus 31. Uh, the normal line well, if that's the slope of the tangent line, the normal line we take negative reciprocal, we get minus 2. So we get y is 26 minus 2 times x minus 31. Okay, so there's the tangent in the normal lines. Um, what about the location of horizontal or vertical tangents? Well, remember we discussed that horizontal tangents, like always, happen when dy dx is equal to 0, right, which is when y prime is equal to 0. The vertical tangents happen when dy dx goes to infinity, which basically is when x prime is equal to 0. Okay, so horizontal tangent, We look here, we see that when is dy dx going to be 0? When is y prime? y prime is equal to 0 if t is equal to minus 3. Vertical tangent, we need the denominator to be 0, so t should be 3 over 5. Okay, now uh, those are the t values. 
Technically, I should, I mean, I'm out of room, so I'm going to maybe skip the calculations here. But the next step should be if we actually want the location, right, where, where on the curve do those points occur? Go back up here, right? Plug in t equal to minus 3 to get the x and y coordinates for the horizontal tangent. Plug in t is equal to 3 over 5, and we'll get the x and y coordinates for that vertical tangent. Those are going to be two points on our graph, right? And so if we were interested in trying to sketch this thing, those will be important points to include on our sketch.